Hey there, Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Hit subscribe and hit like for me. Today's video is about how to turn frustration to motivation. Easier said than done, right? Nothing worse than being frustrated over your situation. And some of these situations are huge. You're at a job you absolutely detest. Your relationship is crumbling before your eyes. You said I do to the man of your dreams or to the lady of your dreams, and it's falling apart. Kids are going wayward. I mean, your health is failing. This is serious stuff. You're in financial ruins. You're frustrated. And one of the main things or quick things that we do is turn to substance, turn to people to save us. We go into a shell. We don't talk about it. We crumble and we fall. But if we can try to embrace the frustration and turn it into motivation, you'll be shocked how quick you can recover and how resourceful you are in your time of need. I remember recently I graduated last uh, May and I'm a social worker. So whew, I'm ready to go get my social work job. I could not find a job. I was getting some interviews, but wasn't getting hired quick enough and the unemployment was running out. I was like really hungry for a position. So I took one. Position did not pay enough for me to sustain my household and I had to do a lot of driving. So it was counterproductive for me to do all this driving with a lower paying salary. I was fading fast and drowning fast. One day I got so mad. My commute had become an hour and 15 minutes. I was like, forget this. It's something closer to me. I live in a suburban area outside of Chicago, but it's a lot of jobs, a lot of opportunity in the county that I live in. It was that one day after that long commute, I said, no more. Jumped on my computer, applied for like 10, 12 jobs. Within two weeks, I was hired for um, the position I'm in now as an HR advisor, and I was converted over to permanent within three months. I'm not even, my background is not really HR. My BA is, but I was a buyer for many years. And my master's now is in social work. But because I took that chance, you know, they took a chance on me. And I hope that helps you turn your frustration into motivation. Maybe it's you at a job that you don't like, but you got to get hungry and know without a shadow of a doubt, hey, I deserve more money. Hey, there's something closer to me that I, you know, I won't have to commute as long. Hey, it's something in my field that I can do. Get hungry. Get frustrated over it. When you get mad, you can convert that thing over to power. Everything that's bad for you or that causes pain in your life is not a bad thing. It can bring out good if you convert that over. You got to be hungry for it. So that leads me to some of my steps to help you. When you're frustrated, step number one, take that problem. Write it out, but write down your options. Do an A, B, C, and D. I always do like four or five scenarios. Like, okay, if this do not work, I can do this. If I don't find a good paying full-time job, I'll do this, do this in conjunction with that. I can cut this down. I can do this. You always got to have plan A, B, and C because Murphy's Law is when something can go wrong, it will go wrong. But when you have your, that's one thing about it. You can be frustrated. But when you have plans, it just makes you feel better. I'm like that about a job. If I hate a job, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to keep my resume circulating. And I always know in the back of my mind, I don't have to stay here. I have other options. When you have options, that gives you power. I did a video about how to use your options. You always have a solution. There's always a solution. So that leads me to tip number two. <laughs> There's always a solution. Even when you're frustrated and feel like, I'm never getting out of this. I remember being in an abusive relationship and just crying because I had an injured foot and I was getting my hair done by this, this great stylist, a, a gentleman. And he was like, what happened to your foot? And this had occurred because of a fight, you know, that I was in with my ex. And I just busted out crying. And he, he pat me on the shoulder. He said, this too shall pass. But deep in my heart, I didn't believe him. I'm like, I'm never getting out of this relationship. He's saying that, but I'm never getting out. And look at me, 20 years later, I'm alive, I'm healthy, I'm whole. And you know, that's far behind me. 
Um, so I just want to inspire someone maybe that's in an abusive relationship where things are not going well for you. You, you too can get out of it. And I just want you to get out of it safely. So tip number three, when you are frustrated and when it's really bad, like high stress, high blood pressure, you feel like the walls are closing in on you. A lot of you out here, I kind of got to get on you. You have great jobs. EAP provider. Your job is providing a mental health benefit. Do not be ashamed. And I got to clap, clap, clap for my black brothers. I'm a therapist and my black brothers, they are coming through. They are coming to therapy. They bring in their families. And I'm so proud of you. And I have to say that because I'm a product of a black male and it was not talked about in my house to go to therapy. That type of stuff wasn't talked about in the 90s. And my dad passed in 99, but he was old school. He was born in the 30s. He was from Alabama and going to therapy was probably not going to happen in our household. So 2019, the men that are coming through any race, because I have clients of all colors and genders, but I want to especially clap for my Black or African-American brothers that are tapping into the mental health aspect and using their insurance and taking care of their mind, body, and soul. It is something to be said about that. Don't handle those problems on your own. Solicit help of a professional. We are here for you. We want to help you. We do not want you stressed out, having heart attacks and, you know, passing out and, and actually dying on us, you know? So don't be so proud and prideful. Go to therapy. Guess what? Don't tell nobody because people are ashamed. But why are you ashamed? You don't have to tell people what you're doing. Just do it. We talk too much. And that's why we are ashamed because we tell our business. Take care of yourself. Anyway, that's pretty much all I had today. I want you to convert that frustration to motivation. Use it as power. Don't always look at it as a negative thing. What can I get out of this? There is power in pain. There is a blessing in the lesson. So use your frustration to make you bigger, better, wiser, stronger. You are a beautiful individual. You are a handsome individual. You're great. You're powerful. You're all these great things. And you have to own it. And you have to just rock with it. You're going to be okay. You're going to come through on the other side. And stay motivated. Thank you for watching. Hit like. Please hit like for me. That helps get my video to more viewers. Subscribe to my channel. Comment. I love the comments. They always just make my day. And, um, you know, stay motivated. It's going to be okay. Tammy C. Walker signing out.